So this question says, in the xy plane, the point 2, 6 lies on the graph of y equals k over x, where k is a constant. Which of the following, must, which of the following points must also lie on the graph? Okay, so there's a lot of information embedded in this question. Whenever we have an ordered pair, recognize that that ordered pair is providing you an x value and a y value, right? So in this case, x equals 2 and y equals 6. So then we're provided this equation for the line, y equals k over x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that equation, and I'm going to plug in what we were provided. We're told that when y is 6, x is 2. So this becomes 6 equals k over 2. I can multiply both sides by 2 here. And what I get here is that k is equal to 12. Well, k is a constant, which means k is always 12, which means my equation, this y equals k over x, is really y equals 12 over x. Okay. Now, the next question says, which of the following must also lie on the graph? Well, I can take this equation here and use my answer choices and plug them in. So I can basically turn this into a plug-in answers question. So is it true that when, again, we have another ordered pair, when x equals 1, y equals 3, is that something that would work out in this equation? So we have, again, y equals 12 over x, which means this would become 3 equals 12 over 1. That is not true, which means A is not true. How about for choice B? In this case, x is 1 and y is 4. So let's plug that into our equation. Again, y equals 12 over x. So let's see. Is it true? 4 equals 12 over 1. That's absolutely not true. So B is gone. How about choice C, where x is 3 and y is 3? So we'd have 3 equals 12 over 3. Right? Again, I'm just plugging in 3 for y and 3 for x from our equation. This is also not true. So choice C is gone. Choice D must be the correct answer, but let's just test it to make sure. So again, x is 3, y is 4. I'm using this equation, y equals 12 over x. So instead of y, I'd have 4 equals 12 over. Instead of x, I have 3. And yes, that is absolutely true. And that's why choice D is the correct answer to this question.